does it feel to be back? It's good. It's nice. Uh, the break's long. You know, obviously since last season, it feels forever. So it's good to be back out here. Uh, was it intentional to uh, pop the question right before camp started? Yeah, of course. She can. Uh, now she can celebrate that, and I can uh, focus on football. <laughs> Just one practice in, what feels different out here maybe compared to this time last season? Uh, I think, you know, we're just further ahead. You know, having a, the staff two years in a row, I, you're, you're not just, you're still not relearn, like learning the new stuff. You know, we know, we know practice is going to go. You know the warm ups, you know the meeting schedule. So that stuff, I would say, you know, obviously we're way further ahead. And then I just think, yeah, I mean, we're, we're just practicing faster. I think we said it during, you know, the OTAs. But I think it's the same thing. It's just year two. Uh, with the same staff, and so it, it's just going faster. You're breaking in a, a new partner. How's that going with the, you know, the guy next yeah. to you? Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's you know, it's obviously different. Uh, but you know, so much of my career, usually I've been that guy. You know, for a lot of it, you know, fighting for a spot, fighting for playing time. So uh, it's good. Uh, you know, I think. You know, today, you know, Cody and Jonas uh, getting a lot of reps. Uh, I guess with the two periods, you know, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna rotate and. Uh, let the best guy win. I think it's fun. I think, it, you know, I think there's a lot of competitions on the team, not just, you know, in our room. Uh, it makes the team better. And, you know, I think, you know, VJ said it last night is to who starts game one doesn't decide a season. You know, like I said, you know, there's been multiple times in my career, week one or two, you know, I'm not starting, but I end up starting 15 games. So, you know, you tell those guys like, you know, you're competing every day to start week one, but it's not. That's that's not a 17 week decision. That's a week one decision. So to just keep getting better every single day and you know, fit in the best role you can on this team and you know help us win football games because that's you know the ultimate goal of everything. So then, how important, if at all, is it to get that other starter decided sooner than later? Yeah. Uh, if one is above and beyond better, I think then it's like all right, these are going to be two guys all the time. Uh, but I think you know so much guys are so close. I think it helps a team to have, you know, three or four guys that can play all year. You know, there's not very, you know, last year, Josie missed one game. I think that is the first time ever I've been in a room where we had one injury all season. You know, most of the time guys are missing chunks at a time. And if you have, you know, two guys that take every rep, yeah, I mean, they can play really well together. But, you know, sometimes it's not good. You know, when they're rotating and, you know, they're rolling, you know, you, you get to play with other guys. You learn how other guys play. And I, I think it, it helps – it helps a lot, especially to get to know guys. You know, Jonas hasn't, you know, really played a ton for two years. And then obviously Cody being new and Justin and those guys. So it, it helps to kind of everyone plays with everybody because in the season you might have to do it for a little bit. Time for two yeah. more questions. I haven't seen him in pads yet, but what have been your early thoughts on the several additions you've made on the defensive line? I love it. It's, uh, it's exciting. Uh, they're playing fast, physical. I'm excited for the pads to come on. You know, uh, we're playing an expensive O line every day. So, uh, what they uh, what what they do to them uh, is exciting for uh, what you know we'll be able to do to other teams. Well, last question, we didn't see any of it today, but there, there's often times in training camp where the defense and the offense is both celebrating after a play because the defense thinks it got a sack, but the offense maybe thinks that it got. The well, ball you're out. saying it wrong. The defense got a sack and the offense got the ball out. But yeah. Gotcha. Uh, do those do those like the arguments or debates like do they extend like into the locker room after practice? Have you ever been a part of? Some of those situations yeah. where it kind of keeps going after that in, in the locker room? Uh, no, it, it doesn't happen often because, you know, it's, it is so much like, you're right, like the receiver will beat the DB, but the, you know, whatever, end beat the tackle. And it's kind of like, all right, well, you know, there's still a good ball, still a good sack. It, it, it makes it better because you're, you do want to get those full competitions everywhere throughout a whole play. So, like, if, if all five D linemen win or whatever, you know, the back end still has to, you know, make plays in the same thing. If Because in a game, you know, when all five, if they all get blocked, the DBs have to cover for longer. So it's just kind of, it's just, a, you know, it, it keeps the practice flow. You know, if we got to hit the quarterbacks, uh, practices wouldn't get very much done, I don't think. <laughs>